Hey guys, Taylor here. So we are reviewing Arvikes web hosting. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So here's what the um, here's Arvikes. Um, I'll show you the cPanel or the back end in a second here. Um, but just real quick, I wanted to go over some stuff. So overall, Arvikes I think is a really good um, hosting provider. Um, they've been around since 2003. Uh, they're well established and they're big, but they're not so big like Bluehost or one of uh, EIG's um, hosting companies where they just have that they have to put thousands of, of websites on a server so they're not that size um, they're shared hosting they don't cram too many people on the servers which I really like um, so they have a personal class business class reseller class so just just FYI this personal class the cheapest one is almost exactly the same as everything else the only difference is their their uh, their personal class pro you can have more than six domains so if you happen to have more than six domains which most people don't that might come in handy. Similar thing with business class. So from uh, from the personal class jumping to the business class, there's it's basically bottom line is the business class is not worth it. Um, it costs a, a very minimum twenty two dollars a month, and really the only thing extra you get is a dedicated IP address, which only costs two dollars extra a month, and a free SSL cert, which is twenty five bucks a year. So if you it's more it's like a four dollar a month value for uh, like a $15 uh, price jump, so it's just not worth it. Um, their VPS is pretty standard. I'm, um, it's it's pretty standard, nothing too special. But I'm I'm going to focus on their um, on their shared web hosting here. I, I do review VPS providers, but they're actually not one of the primary ones I'm I'm reviewing just because I don't think they're the top of the class when it comes to VPS. Although I think they are when it comes to um, shared web hosting. Um, so. Here's the back end. Uh, so a few things that I really like. It's it's cPanel, which most other hosting providers are. That's cool. Um, it, it, you know, it's very standard stuff. Preferences, mail, files. They have a nice file manager, a backup wizard, which is nice. Um, SEO marketing tools. This is all just crap at the end of the day. Um, they have log stuff, very standard cPanel stuff, so you can see who's hitting your website. Uh, here's something that's not quite so standard. They have shell access and for developers, this is really cool. So you can get, um, you can log in uh, via terminal into their servers and, and do stuff, which is which is I think key for a lot of developers. Um, they have subdomains, add-on domains, and park domains, redirects, um, advanced Z DNS zone editor. So that's cool. Um, I like that you can add subdomains in here. It's really nice. All the standard MySQL stuff, um, all the standard PHP stuff, which is nice. Um, and then they have some just kind of um, uh, community and, and help type stuff down here. Uh, a lot of standard stuff. The only thing that's, that's really, I think, cool is this, uh, the shell access, which is nice. Um, as far as pricing, they are, the personal class is, is pretty good price. So um, if you can see that, it's $4 if you buy it per month for two years. Um, if you're paying just by month, it's seven dollars, and then it kind of goes in between the, those ranges. But four dollars per month for what they offer is really good, I think. Um, even if you, even if you're only hosting six, um, even if it only limits you to six websites, it's probably not going to be an issue for most people. Um, so all in all, I think they're really, really good. They offer the other kind of cool things they offer is you can set up a, a web server either in in uh, Europe or the US which is nice so if you're in Europe you can put a um, I think it's Europe yeah US or Europe so you can if you're in Europe you can you definitely want to uh, choose Europe when you're logging in the one downside I would say is they don't have like a most cPanels um, or back-end administration have like a one-click installs for WordPress Joomla and a lot of other CMS's they don't have that so it requires you to actually you know, download that software and upload it to your site, which isn't terrible if you know how to do it, but if you don't, um, it can be a problem. So, um, and obviously they have all the standard email stuff. So, uh, all in all, I really recommend them. I think they're as far as order, I, I, if you're just an individual starting out, I'd still probably recommend iPage or HostGator over them. But I, I would recommend our bikes to um, any web developers or technically oriented people. Um, just because it gives you more flexibility because you're going to have that SSH access, which is really key. Um, they also, you can get dedicated IPs and, um, and SSL um, to, to lock down your site for a very good price. And they also, they also give you a free domain for life, 
which is nice, especially for the four. So you don't have to pay for your domain name uh, for only four bucks a month. So that, that's really nice. Uh, all in all, great company. Highly recommend them. Thanks, guys.